Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and I'm reporting for TweetDown down at Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona. I came across the Migo tablet. Now, this is actually the uh, love child of Nokia and Intel, and uh, Nokia has recently um, kind of abandoned it. But products are shipping, and we have a really interesting OS to show you here. Now, it's based on a panel view. So, in theory, we could go left and right in infinite directions and up and down. Wait, if I can find a... No. No. <laughs> and then infinitely up and down. There we go. So we go infinitely up and down. So that's one of the interesting aspects of this tablet is that it's changed the way that you're trying to organize your objects or your context. Um, that, and and that, that's actually one of the more interesting things is that all of your um, photos and media are brought to the surface. So they, they've really tried to reinvent the way that you interact with data. Now, tablets are a very different type ecosystem. So you need applications that are built on touch. And when you're trying to um, access all of your multimedia and your online artifacts, you're going to need to think of them a little bit differently. So this has been the photo viewer. You can actually set it to slideshow. And if you want to go back, because I've already flipped through many, right up here at the top, there's actually an optical mouse. And that brings you back to home. Now this is the front columns. This is where your, all your RSS feeds, your Twitter, uh, Facebook is going to be integrated later. So this is actually that type of panel. And it actually intelligently um, tracks which tweets or RSS feeds you read and then we'll cycle them through so that more of those show up. If we go over to music, oh wait, I didn't mean to play it there. Let's just stop that. If we go over to music and go into settings, we actually have playlists. So that's a really interesting thing that I've, that I've really enjoyed. And because this is actually based on the Pegatron 11.6-inch tablet, uh, this has the Broadcom Crystal HD card in it. So if we wanted to play a video in 720p or 1080p, this unit can fully handle it. Now, if you're like me and you're thinking, hmm, 11.6 is a little bit big, you're, you're going to be very happy to know that the Mego tablet is actually prepared to scale down to 7 inches. So if we check out the settings, one of the things that we are going to notice is that there is no App Store. One of the interesting things is Intel's App Hub has actually released their SDK during Mobile World Congress. So if you want to download it and see if you can modify your apps uh, and customize them for Mego, that's going to be entirely possible for you. Uh, but since the SDK is just open, there's no apps inside the store. So there's really nothing to see there. Now if we go over, let's go over to the web. Choose to open it there. There we go. Now I'm going to... Oh, there we go. And now let's check out the keyboard, because I am absolutely addicted to this. So let's go to Tweak Town. So there we go. Now I need to do a little bit of... Bit of ah, ah. Well, anyways, I apparently hit the wrong thing there, so the browser obviously needs a little bit more work. But what is great about it is that it has Swipe as a keyboard. So Intel's actually licensed Swipe in order to have a phenomenal keyboard for their tablet UI. So this has been a quick look at Intel's Mego on a tablet, the Pegatron 11.6 inch, that we are seeing shipping right now with the XOPC and the WeTab.